What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update giving you all the latest ins, outs and contract news with Manchester City so you've got that to look forward to but before we crack on with this video make sure like always if you're enjoying the content then make sure you press that red button, subscribe, press the bell and put your push notifications on we're aiming for 5,500 subscribers and at the time of recording this video we're now less than 40 subscribers away so any help towards that would be much appreciated thank you everyone for the continued support we're running daily manchester city transfer updates as well so throughout all the january transfer window so you've got that to look forward to so if you're interested make sure you press that red button to stay in the loop with everything happening with the latest city news we're also going to be running daily transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window so uh, worthwhile subscribing if you are interested in manchester city transfer news you can find my social media links in the description below and popping up on screen too if you want to go and search for me and follow me on Twitter and Instagram then you can or you can find them links in the description below. My email is also in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So we're going to crack on with this video and we're going to start with the ins like always and we're going to be following on from one of the news stories that we was covering yesterday in the form of Kaladu Kula Bali. Now we know that Manchester City are now out of the race to sign Kaladu Koulibaly. City are no longer interested in bringing him to the Etihad Stadium. Sky have been reporting actually that Pep Guardiola sees Milan Skrania as the perfect player for Manchester City to go and sign and that's a centre-back that we could well be targeting in the summer. How on earth Sky know what Pep Guardiola thinks and who he identifies as being the perfect player at Manchester City? I do not know, but I find that interesting. Let's not forget, though, that if City are going to make a big transfer like the one that we're sensing with the centre-back, it's more than likely going to come in the summer rather than in the winter window. That doesn't mean we're not going to sign uh, anyone in this transfer window. It just makes it unlikely. I am keeping my eyes peeled because we've got some really good news stories brewing. So make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the video. Now, another player that's back on the Manchester City agenda apparently is Rainier. Now, the young Brazilian lad from Flamengo. Um, City apparently trying to bring him in from under the noses of Real Madrid. That's according to sources in Brazil. But the MEN have been reporting actually that... That this isn't true and City I have no interest in bringing Rainier in to City from Flamengo so yeah there we go he's a player that City were linked with last summer so hmm yeah maybe a little bit of false reporting or fake news coming in from Brazil I do not know We've got another update on Ivan or Ivan Morante. Is it Ivan Morante? I imagine that's how you probably say his name. We've got an update on him. It's come in the form of the Spanish publication AS. Now, uh, they've been reporting that Villarreal um, may well lose Morante even in this window because Morante apparently has made a decision on his future and he wants to leave Villarreal. Currently playing for the Villarreal B team, captain of the Spain under 19 team 2. He's a midfielder, 19 years old. Apparently Manchester City and Barcelona are interested. Top talent in Spain. I'd be surprised if City beat Barcelona to his signature. The only way I can sense that is uh, the player either wanting to play in another country and play for Pep Guardiola is one appeal. But normally um, players from Spain, when they've got such highly regarded players too, got offers from top Spanish clubs. Um, you'd think they'd stay, but I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think it'd be an interesting move to go to Barcelona or Manchester City anyway. They both play a very similar style of football, so I, I find that really interesting. We're going to move on and going to uh, another Spanish player that Manchester City have also been linked with comes in the form of Danny Olmo. Now, apparently, the Spanish player, the midfielder, he is set to sign for AC Milan, according to sources in Spain. That's from Tuto Sport. So, he was once linked with Manchester City. Apparently, now he's set to sign for AC Milan. I'm not too sure. I was under the illusion that he wanted Champions League football. I know there was interest from Premier League clubs, so I find it surprising that he may well go to AC Milan. But uh, it seems that Danny Olmo almost certainly won't be ending up at Manchester City, whether he was or not. is a matter to be discussed for another time. Now, gold correspondent uh, at Chelsea has been reporting that Leicester are having a really good look at Ryan Bertrand of Southampton. Of course, Ryan Bertrand's a left-back, so it's called into question what Leicester are planning to do with their left-back, Ben Chilwell, with Chelsea interested. It was reported in that article that Manchester City are still monitoring the situation and are said to be interested too. He's a homegrown player, he's a left-back, and we know that Man City may 
only may be targeting a left back in the summer. It's not high up on the agenda, but we may have a look at left backs in the summer if we're going to have a look at a little overhaul of the squad. And uh, Ben Chilwell will probably be high up on Manchester City's priority list if we choose to pursue a left back. So that's interesting that Leicester are possibly planning on selling which means they've got a valuation for him, so whether that's too much for City or not, I do not know. I'm going to follow that up and try and find some more information, so keep an eye on another video, maybe tomorrow, maybe another time, where we get a bit more information on possibly Ben Chilwell leaving Leicester again, more than likely to be a summer deal rather than a January deal. Like I don't, I'm, People keep leaving in the comments saying things aren't going to be happening, I'm, I'm flogging a dead horse and stuff, but uh, things change quickly in the transfer window and things change quickly in the window to window two that is no different but i report on stories because they're, they're out there if deals are going to happen in the summer i'm going to be reporting that right now if that's what's being talked about and that's what's being mentioned these deals aren't necessarily going to be completed in january it doesn't mean man city aren't having a look deals take months to be completed and i'd be very surprised if city aren't identifying targets already for them to be targeting in the summer and if city sense that they can get a deal done that is possible to be done in this window you would hope that city are going to try and pursue that but my next story leads me nicely onto Nathan Ake. Now, Sky Sports are reporting that Manchester City are considering making a move for Nathan Ake. Of course, Chelsea have pulled out of the race to sign Nathan Ake. Arsenal are linked. I think Manchester United's been linked. I know Spurs' name has also been mentioned, but Manchester City are believed to be keeping an eye on Nathan Ake. Chelsea's concern with Ake is they don't feel he's at the quality that they are looking for, and if he's not at Chelsea's quality, then he's more than likely not going to be at City's quality, so we'll have to wait and see if that's City's judgement too, if we'll make a move or not, but it is believe Sky Sports are reporting that if City are going to make a move that that move will come in the summer rather than come in the winter so uh, we'll have to wait and see what City choose to do but he's a homegrown player and if City do want to sign Nathan Ake then I'm not too sure why we're not bringing him in in this transfer window rather than waiting like the deal can be done now we can get him for a, a reasonable price too it doesn't make sense so I'm not too sure that uh, he is the option that City are looking at or not. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to move on to the outs now. We've got an update on Lee Rossani. Of course, Lee Rossani possibly considering signing a new deal at Manchester City, which has forced the hand of Bayern Munich's very reliable sources to come out and say the following, uh, that they believe that Lee Rossani will still be joining Bayern Munich. And there is a possibility that he may join Bayern Munich even this month. Uh, even though Lira Sane said yesterday that he's very happy with the way City have conducted themselves and he's grateful that they've left the contract offer there for him and he's focusing on his rehabilitation. And now all of a sudden, Bayern Munich are thinking, oh, we can sign him this month. Of course, we've already had our dealings with uh, Bayern Munich sources and German sources and uh, the German media and uh, how things are with Bayern Munich. I, I did make a note and stuff. I'm not going to go into detail, but... I don't find them the most reliable. I don't like their tactics at the approach, particularly with the Leroy Sane transfer and how it, I could say it's tapping up. It's not, but it, it's borderline. It's 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 a bit iffy if you get where I'm coming from with their approach to Leroy Sane, particularly in the summer. But um, the, the thing is with Leroy Sane that if Manchester City want to sell Leroy Sane, then Man City will sell, and Man City will sell for a price that they're happy to sell him for. Bayern Munich have to pay that. If not, they're going to have to be patient. If Leroy Sane wants to stay at Manchester City, they're just going to have to accept that. And if Leroy Sane wants to sign a new deal at Manchester City, then fantastic. I did mention yesterday, and I'll mention it again, that if City wants to keep Leroy Sane, they are going to have to go back to the negotiation table and convince Leroy Sane to stay. Obviously, his contract offer at the moment is he feels like can get more money i saw some comments below in my video from yesterday so thank you very much for the people that did comment on my video yesterday i do have a read of them that very interestingly um one person pointed out that uh, there's players out there like anthony marshall and marcus rashford that uh, are on more money than what lee rosani is and it's crazy lee rosani must look at it and think what am i doing wrong he can earn more money so it's up to manchester city now to try and match that and lee rosani is a very important player at manchester city and i think his contract should reflect that He's a very important player. He's a very talented player. If he can apply himself more, he'll be one of the highest earners. But still, he'll be looking at other players and thinking, I, I'm, I can do better and I can get more money. So I can understand both ends of the stick from City's point of view, from Lee Rosane's point of view. And ish from Bayern Munich's point of view, I just don't like the way the professionalism has come in from um, Germany and from Bayern Munich's side. So I think their attitude towards the transfer 
uh, isn't brilliant. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what the future does hold for Lira Sane. It is a waiting game. Now, we've got an update on Jaden Bra. Sam Lee, who's been reporting for The Athletic, um, said, not in these exact words, but you get where I'm coming from, that his attitude has been called into question, his attitude stinks, and he's now developing an ego, is where the article was going from. That's my summary. Um, egos and not trying your hardest doesn't go down well with Manchester City. It doesn't go down well with Pep Guardiola. There is a reason Jaden Bra. Uh, hasn't been promoted to the Manchester City first team squad as of now. He's not even mentioned when we've been doing League Cup squads and everything. There's players out there that work really hard that deserve their spot in the Manchester City squad and training with the first team and getting new contracts. They work really hard. They've got a really good work ethic, whereas Jaden Bra doesn't seem to have that. He was described as being a, a maverick. He seems to care more about himself. He's a really talented, wonderful football player who just isn't applying himself. I've seen some question how Manchester City approach these young players. I've seen some people question how these young players approach being at Manchester City. And I can agree with both points. But uh, at the end of the day, the fact is that hard work will beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. And if Jaden Braff wants to stay at Manchester City and be a Manchester City player, he's going to have to work hard. Otherwise, it just won't work. And if he doesn't want to do that, He'll have to leave. That's just how it is. It's an interesting one. I'm going to keep my eye on the story and the developments. Now, I've got another very interesting story that I'm going to keep my eye on. comes in the form of Claudio Bravo and a source called 24 Horas, which I'm going to presume is possibly, uh, I presume it has come from um, a Spanish-speaking country. I'm not too sure. I'm not an expert on 24 Har Horus, but I presume that means 24 hours, a news establishment. But uh, they're saying that Manchester City could well let Claudio Bravo leave this window. Manchester City, uh, in their point of view, Claudio Bravo won't be a Manchester City player as of the summer. He's got six months left on his contract. Claudio Bravo's got contract offers from the United States of America and from clubs in Mexico too. He could well leave this month if Man City uh, are willing to let him leave. City have contemplated recalling Aro Muric from his loan at Nottingham Forest as he's become second choice and he's not enjoying his loan too much and he's fallen down the pecking order. Could we promote him to be Man City's number two? Could we promote Scott Carson to be Man City's number two and Muric gets loaned? loaned out or Murich becomes a new number three and he's going to learn and be the understudy to Scott Carson as he's an experienced goalkeeper and homegrown. What we're going to do is a situation though where if Claudio Bravo does leave this month that that non-homegrown quotes that I've been mentioning a lot in all of my videos no longer becomes relevant because a spot is freed up and it would allow us to sign an illustrious centre-back. But that's just me having wishful thinking that's too optimistic, more than likely won't happen that Claudio Bravo leaves, but I will keep my eye on that. Now, last but not least, comes in the form of João Cancelo. Um, sources in Germany have been reporting that João Cancelo, he's set to stay at Manchester City. This is sources close to Bayern Munich, by the way, who were chasing João Cancelo, that Cancelo won't be leaving Manchester City. Bayern Munich have been told Cancelo isn't for sale and he also isn't available for loan and won't be leaving in this window. So I'm going to presume the same message is going to be given to Jose Mourinho and Tottenham Hot spur so there we go so that's been the video hope you enjoyed the video don't forget like comment share subscribe all that good stuff social media links in the description below popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on there subscribe if you're new around here by the way too press that red button press the bell put your push notifications on my email in the description below uh, also if you want to go and hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you all again for the next daily manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc hope we'll have a wonderful rest of your day. I feel like these stories are brewing up nicely. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Ciao for now.